Hi guys! Today's video is about how to easily bathe your guinea pig. Despite the fact that guinea pigs clean themselves, sometimes a bath is necessary. You might want to bathe your guinea pig if its coat is particularly soiled or when a medical treatment is needed. Let's move on to the setup and what you need to bathe your guinea pig. You'll need a face cloth to put in the sink so your guinea pig won't slip in the sink. You'll also need a shampoo. You can purchase a shampoo specifically for guinea pigs or small animals, but it's not absolutely necessary. Baby shampoo will work perfectly fine as it doesn't have a strong fragrance and it's very mild. Don't use anything like dish soap or household cleaning materials. Finally, you will need a towel to dry out after the bath and a cup to scoop out water. You can use a small plastic box over the sink to bathe your pet if your sink is too big. You might also need some brushes if you have a guinea pig with long hair. Start by putting water in the face cloth. The water must be lukewarm temperature. Make sure your sink is clean. Now you're set up and ready for the bath. Wait! Last but not least, you need a guinea pig that needs a bath. Daisy really needs one. Her hair is very dirty here and she can't get rid of it by herself, unfortunately. It's fine that your pet is struggling because guinea pigs don't like bath. And actually, Daisy is really calm and cooperative. Always hold your guinea pig and with a confident grip, to make your pet feel secured and to avoid any injury by trying to jump out of the sink. Keep away the water from the eyes, ears and nose and make sure your guinea pig is wet before putting on shampoo. Take a small amount of soap and rub it in your hands. Rinse well with clean water. Alright, she's nice and rinsed out. After the bath, you want to make sure you dry your pet. Power dry your pet really well because if it's damp and you put them back, they can get a cold or an upper respiratory infection. You can also leave your guinea pig dry naturally in a place free from drafts.
If you have a guinea pig with long hair, this is a time where you're gonna want to do the trimming and brushing. I would recommend using a dryer on all long hair as they take so long to dry and could get a chill. You should be careful not to burn your guinea pig as the hair dryer can get hot. There, now we have a beautiful clean daisy. Surprised, I decided to give a bath to Rosie as well as I don't want her to find Daisy smelling suspicious. So now the two of them are in the same boat. You can wash your guinea pig 2-3 to three times a year. Guinea pigs do self-cleaning but they can't get everything themselves. And giving a bath 2-3 to three times a year won't make your guinea pig's skin dry. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video helped you and see you guys next time. Bye!